If you're finding that your database queries are starting to feel slow and you figure that it might be because your data volume is starting to grow, starting to get bigger, the best first thing to do is usually to add an index to cover your common data access patterns. Now, if you're not familiar with an index when it comes to databases, it's really just kind of like an index when it comes to a book. So in a book, we might have an index at the back that would lay things out by topic and there would be a page number associated with that topic that we could then go to very quickly to to see information about whatever it is we're looking for. It's the very same thing when it comes to databases. An index is going to cover an access pattern that we have, which is going to establish essentially a map for how the database can quickly and easily access that data. So instead of having to scan through every single record in the database, that index is going to give us our data much more quickly. Let's take a look at how we can establish indexes in our Prisma schema and how that has an impact on our databases. So I've got a very, very simple schema here. It's just one table. We've got a user table with some really simple fields and I've got a bunch of data in my local database for this user table. So if we take a look at the database, we have 5 million records. And the reason that I've got so much data, which by the way, I used Prisma's DB seed command to establish all of this data in the database, just just by creating random users using faker.js to put these users into the database. The reason that we've got so much data here is so that we can start to simulate this problem when it comes to our database growing and then creating issues or potential issues when it comes to our database taking a long time to scan through and return results. So we've got 5 million user records in this database. Let's take a look at a very simple query over here at server.ts. We are hitting the user table, find many, just taking 100 for now so that we don't have our system all clogged up by trying to get 5 million users at once. And we're doing some simple performance work to track how long it takes to get this data out. All right, so let's try this. npm run dev, and that's going to give us 100 users and it took 77 milliseconds. So really not too much time at all, but we wanna make sure that our queries are very performant usually. So something like 100 milliseconds or less is a pretty good benchmark to be aiming for. All right, so 77 milliseconds. What if we were to do a find with a where clause? So for example, let's do where, and let's say we wanted to target the last name field. So last name, and maybe contains, and we could do something like Faye. That's one of the randomly created last names that I happen to see in the database. So if we do that, we have 11,000, over 11,000 results, 348 milliseconds for the return time. Now, some of this time is going to be because we're in a Node.js application, because we're using an ORM. And perhaps what we could do is we could see what we would get if we were to just go directly to the database with a straight up SQL query. Let's come up here to our Prisma clients and we're going to add log and we just want to log out the query to see what's coming out of the ORM when we make this query. So let's do this. We'll copy everything that we've got here up to $1. Let's copy that. And let's go over now to a SQL client. I've got table plus here. I've got my database loaded up and here's the user table. Let's go to a SQL query. I'm going to paste this in here, that query that we copied. And we'll just remove that dollar one and let's put in Fay like we had over in our Prisma query. So let's run this and see what we get. So a bunch of results coming through. We get a bunch of results here in our table plus editor. Before the select statement here, let's put explain analyze. So this is a way for us to get the query plan for what's going on here with this query. If we run this now, what we're going to get here is the query plan. And let's take a look to see what it says. Parallel sequential scan on the user table. Planning time, 0.242 milliseconds. Execution time, 188 milliseconds. And if we keep hitting this and running it again, we see similar results, 197, 198 milliseconds for the execution time, 204. So this is less than what we saw over in the Node.js application. Again, because we're inside of a Node.js context there, there's some latency that is inherent just because of that, because of using an ORM. If we're directly against the database here, we see a timing that is a bit reduced. This will be a good spot here to be able to test out whether or not an index is going to work well for us. And let's pay attention to this, parallel sequential scan on the user table. So that's going to be important when we go to the next step, which is to create that index and to see how it affects our query here.
So let's go back over to the Prisma schema and let's change some things up. So here we are at our user table. And the way that we're going to register an index here is with the double at index directive. And we are going to establish that index on the last name. That's the field that we're targeting right now. So what's this going to do? Well, let's save this and let's see what we get. So we're going to just kill this node process. And what we'll do is npx prisma migrate dev and give it a name, add last name index. Okay, so it looks like the migration applied. Let's check it out and see what we get in there. So if we go to our migrations directory and we go to add last name index to the migration file, what we've got here is create index user last name idx on user at the last name field. So now let's go back over to table plus and let's take a look at the user table and the structure of it. And what we see now at the structure is that we've got that last name index in place. It's user underscore last name underscore IDX, just like we saw from what was created by our migration. The index algorithm is BTree, that's the default in Postgres. And the column name that it's using is last name. All right, so what I wanna do now is let's go over to that SQL query we ran before and let's run this again to see what we get. So run current. And now what we get is something different. Well, what we've got here is bitmap index scan on that index user last name IDX. And importantly here, what we see is the execution time is far less, 53 milliseconds in this case. Let's run this again, run current, 26 milliseconds that time, 29. So things are much faster now. We're getting a much reduced query execution time thanks to the index that we've got in place. Again, that map that is established in the database, which tells our database where to look specifically for items based on the query that we're making. Now, the important thing to keep in mind here is that what we've got in our Prisma schema that we've got here with the double at index, this isn't any Prisma magic. Rather, this is just Prisma telling the database what should be created as an index. All of the work of actually creating that index and maintaining that index, that's all a database level thing. So this is the typical API that you would use the double at index in your Prisma schema. And it depends on your query patterns. What is it that you're using in terms of a database query that is the common query pattern? That's going to determine what you want to set up for indexes so that you can be most performant in your application. One thing that we can do with Postgres specifically here is we can specify the type to be used for the index. So the default algorithm in Postgres is BTree, but what we can do here on last name is we can give it a type and we can say, let's use, for example, the hash type. Now hash can be a faster algorithm than BTree, so faster lookups, but it only works for specific cases. And primarily it's going to work well if you are looking something up based on equality. So you're using the equal sign, for example. What we're doing here in this query is we're using like, and that's not going to be a good operator to work with hash but we'll change up our query just a bit. Let's maybe do a side-by-side -side here. So let's do an index on last name, type hash. Let's also do an index on first name, but we won't take type hash. We'll just do the default B tree. All right, so we're going to do npx prisma migrate dev, give it a name and say, add another index here. All right, so the migration is done. So let's go back over to table plus now and we'll take a look to see what we've got. If we go to the user table and we check out the structure, so our last name index changed over to hash. We've got first name as an index now, but that's btree as the standard. And if we're over here in our SQL query, so we can do explain analyze. So we've got last name, it's like Fay. That was giving us something like 31, 50 milliseconds. What if we now change this over to be equals Fay? Let's run that. 30 milliseconds, we've got 20 milliseconds. So times that are a bit reduced, there are some other things at play here, like there are probably fewer results that are coming back as strictly equal to phase, so that's affecting the execution time, making that lower. However, if you do want to use a different index algorithm than the standard, which is BTree here for Postgres in this case, the API to do that in the Prisma schema is type and then whatever type you want. So adding indexes to your database tables is a really great first line of defense for speeding up your queries, making your applications more performance, and ultimately taking some load off of your database. There are many other things you can do to alleviate your database from slow queries. And one thing you can do is caching. Now, what you might like to do if you're using Prisma is check out Prisma Postgres. Prisma Postgres is going to give you a Postgres database in just a few clicks. It's part of the Prisma data platform. And what you can also use if you're on the Prisma data platform 
platform is Prisma Accelerate, which is going to give you things like connection pooling. It's going to give you a caching layer for your data. And if you're using Prisma Postgres, that's all working together. We've also got Prisma Optimize, which is going to tell you which database queries you're making that are inefficient or should be improved upon. And that's going to be another line of defense for improving performance in your applications. If you've got any questions about adding indexes to your database or how to use the Prisma data platform to make your queries faster, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to us. We're at prisma.io on the web or at Prisma on Twitter. Thanks for watching.